Okay, so in this video, we are going to calibrate our ESCs, and we're going to be working on this motor. So with a normal setup, when we barely, you know, push up the throttle of our uh, transmitter, we should see the motor barely spinning. But with uncalibrated ESCs, I might be able to raise this throttle notch up pretty high, and the motor still isn't spinning, and it should be. See, it only starts spinning at that point. But really, it should start spinning when I just barely put up the throttle. So what calibrating the ESCs is going to do is tell the ESC at what point I want the motor to start spinning, which would be like right when I barely press up on the throttle. And it's going to tell the ESC the maximum signal that the, the transmitter will send to the motors. That will be with the throttle all the way up. So this process is pretty straightforward. We're going to take our um, signal wire from our ESC and plug that into channel three of our receiver. And remember this white cord needs to be close to this sticker of the receiver. And then with everything powered off, we're going to flip on, and we're gonna put the, this transmitter throttle all the way up. We're going to put it all the way up. And this is very important. Make sure the motor you're working on does not have any props on it because we are going to be spinning this motor. Okay, now with this throttle all the way up and our ESC plugged into our receiver in the channel 3, we will power up our drone by plugging in the battery. And you're going to hear two dings. Ding, ding. And that is the ESC making the motor... Um, make some noises for us and that ding ding means that we're calibrating our ESC so after we hear the ding ding we'll put our throttle down and we'll hear three dings ding 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 and then after that three ding sound you have calibrated your ESC so let's go ahead and do that now you hear that ding ding now let's put the throttle down you hear three dings, and now we're ready. So now with this calibrated motor, or this calibrated ESC, we should be able to very slightly put up this throttle stick and the motor should start moving. So let's see if that worked. There we go. So before we were having to go almost halfway up the throttle to make the motor spin, but now with these calibrated ESCs, the, uh, the ESCs know when we want to start spinning the motor.